Hi, I'm Lindsay Pollack, career expert and host of LinkedIn's Job Search Fundamentals webinars. Today I'm going to share some tips for conducting smart searches for people who can help you in your job search. First, let's talk about why you would want to use advanced search. Advanced searches on LinkedIn help you zero in on exactly the kinds of people who can be connectors, guides, or sources of information in your job search. With advanced search, you have the ability to find someone who has a specific title, works at a company of interest, or lives nearby all in one search. And that's just the beginning. Using advanced search will help you unlock the power of your network by showing you exactly who can help you get to the next step. With Job Seeker Premium Access, you even have the ability to see full profiles of your third degree connections and see more results than basic users can see, making an advanced search all the more robust and useful. So what are all of the options in advanced search that can help you? Here are the most important for job seekers. First, the basics. Keyword. As with a basic search, you can search by keyword to help you match any word or phrase to profiles of those in your network on LinkedIn. If there are words you know are associated with the work you want to do, but you aren't sure if they fit neatly into job titles, it's a good idea to type those words or phrases into the keyword area. For example, perhaps I was interested in learning about how I could combine my experience in engineering and pharmaceuticals. I could type engineer and pharmaceutical into the keyword box to find all the people in my network who have both words in their profiles thus having some expertise to possibly share with me. Name. You can search by first or last name in advanced search. Perhaps you know the name of someone you met at an event, but you want to know more about that person's career history to help connect the dots back to you. By searching for a name, your search will be most specific. Title. If you're not sure of an individual name, but you're sure of the title of the role you want to learn about, this is a great field to utilize in your search. If you want to know who all of the social media managers are, for example, the title field will help you find them. And company. This is another basic search option, but when combined with other fields in advanced search, this can help you get hyper-focused. Want to get in touch with someone you know is a decision maker at a specific company? Type in the company name in this field and try titles like director, CEO, manager, or recruiter. Now let's look at some of the search facets that are only available to Job Seeker Premium subscribers. Company size and Fortune 1000 level. Searching by these filters will allow you to pinpoint people at the exact types of organizations you feel are the best fit for you. Seniority level. Sorting by seniority level will help you find peers in your field with whom you can start sharing ideas or might help you find those who are more advanced in their careers. When you look at the profiles of those who are more senior, you can start to determine common themes in their career paths that may have helped them get there. And interested in. With the interested in filter, you can find people in your network who are seeking potential employees or consultants and contractors helping you cut right to the chase as a job seeker. Here's an example of an advanced search that you might conduct as a job seeker. Let's say I was interested in becoming a product manager in the field of IT, information technology. One search I can conduct is to find people who are already in this type of role to ask them for advice and guidance. On my advanced search screen, I'd start by typing product manager into the title box. Notice how I put the title in quotation marks. This will help me return results where only the words product and manager are directly next to each other in the title, giving me the most accurate results. Also, I selected current in the drop-down box below the title. This will help me return results of only those in my network who are currently in this role. Then I'd make sure to check off the information technology and services box in the industries area. Now I'll only be getting results of those in my network who are current product managers and work in my desired field. Here's the results page of this search. Notice that I'm only getting people with product manager in their current title area and only those in the information technology and services field. How can these results help you? 
Now that you've found the people in your network who do this job, take a look at their profiles in depth. What was their path to becoming product managers? What skills are they saying they have? What groups did they belong to? What roles did they have before this position? Joining these groups could help you learn more about the work, and seeing the career path and skills needed in the role can help you figure out what some immediate next steps could be for you to keep moving forward towards your goal of becoming a product manager in IT. One of your next steps should be to reach out to people now that you've found them. This is an important step in making the most of your connections on LinkedIn. Before writing a word, I would look to see if my email is likely to receive a positive audience by looking in the area I've outlined in orange. This is where the potential recipient, in this case Jane, indicates what she's interested in being contacted about. She's listed expertise requests, which is what I'm looking for, so I feel a bit more confident. Next, I would introduce my message with a subject line that specifically mentions what I'm interested in, learning more about product management. To open the message, I would make sure to explain to Jane why I contacted her, because I admire her career. This helps Jane feel confident and positions me as someone who's polite and friendly. Then I immediately explain what Jane and I have in common. In this case, I'm using the example that we're in the same field. Then I make my specific ask. Hi Jane, I recently came across your profile and I admire what you've accomplished in your career. I'm new to the field of IT with aspirations of moving into product management in the future. Would you be willing to share your experiences in the field with a fellow IT professional? Specifically, it would be helpful to learn about where you see the field going and how someone can position him or herself for success. If you'd be able to take a few minutes to meet, speak on the phone, or answer a few of my questions, I would be grateful. I would also be happy to return the favor any way I can. Now let's look at another example of advanced search for a job seeker. Another search I can conduct is to find people whom I know but need to know better. For instance, it could be helpful to learn more about a specific recruiter, perhaps one you've met at a job fair, before you submit a resume and cover letter with your job application. Here's how you can do that. Let's say the recruiter's name is Rachel Allen at Stiltec. With advanced search, I can put that information to work for me in a matter of seconds. In the search, I'd make sure to type in her name as well as the company's name. And as you can see, I can easily find Rachel's profile. So what do I do from here? Because I have Job Seeker Premium access, I can see Rachel's full profile even though she's a third degree connection. This is exclusive access for Job Seeker Premium members, so use it. I would click on Rachel's profile to find out if we have anything in common. Maybe we share a similar interest or passion for a cause. Perhaps I can learn more about some articles that she's posted, or maybe she's even talking about the current job opening that I'm considering in her status updates. I could then determine ways I can integrate this new information into my resume, my cover letter, my LinkedIn profile, or other application materials that would help me customize my application specifically for this position, this company, and this recruiter. When you create targeted application documents that demonstrate you've done your homework and determine why this is the right fit for you and the employer, you're much more likely to get called for the interview. Here's one final example of an important advanced search for a job seeker to conduct. Let's say I find a job posted on LinkedIn, but the job poster is not visible to me. It would be helpful for me to find a person who could possibly be influential in the hiring process on LinkedIn. Then, as we did previously, I can learn more about the person's background and what they say about the organization in order to better target my application. So in this example, let's say I want to apply for a posted position in finance at a company called Work Warehouse. The name of the recruiter has not been posted, so I'm going to try to find a decision maker in the finance area at this company. In advanced search, I would type in finance in the title area and make sure to select current in the drop down box. Then I would type in the organization's name and select current again in that drop down box. With Job Seeker Premium Access, I can take my search further and find a decision maker using the seniority level category. In this case, I'll select VP, Vice President, to get someone likely senior in the organization. 
And here, the results page of that search, I pulled up only one result, the exact profile of the VP in finance at this organization. Now I can look at this VP's profile, even as a third degree connection, because I'm a job seeker premium account holder, and I can determine ways to tailor my application materials, either to send directly to this person or simply to make my application more relevant based on the information that I've provided. As we've demonstrated with the examples in this video, advanced search can unlock the power of your network by showing you exactly who can be helpful for you. With Job Seeker Premium access, your possibilities are greater exponentially. Here's why. On the home screen of LinkedIn on the right hand side, you'll see a small box called your LinkedIn network. Here, LinkedIn tells you how many connections you have as well as the number of people they connect you to. Look at the example here. With 601 connections, you're linked to more than 8 million people. These 8 million people include all of your second and third degree connections. Only with the power of Job Seeker Premium can you see full profiles of the third degree connections, meaning you're now within reach of every single one of those professionals. That brings us to the end of our tips. Now I invite you to log into LinkedIn and conduct an advanced search of your own today. Good luck and thanks for watching.